All right, guys, I am the math professor, Kyle Martin. In this video, we're talking about multi-step inequalities, okay? So these solve pretty similar to regular equations. However, we're gonna teach you the three things that you need to do. You need to solve them, graph them, and write their interval notation uh, when we do these multi-steps. We're gonna do four problems today. So just a reminder, in the video player down below, there are timestamps. You can take the little red dot, drag it to whichever problem you need, one, two, three, or four. Let's get into it. All right guys, number one says 4x plus eight is greater than six x plus 10. Now, whether you're doing equations or inequalities or whatever, uh, you probably want to get your uh, variable on the same side of the equation. There's, if it's on both sides, the equation or the inequality in this case, you wanna move those. The easiest way is to move your smaller one because then you'll still have a positive. I know we like positives, right? No one likes negatives. All right, cancel those out and then we get x, or not x, how about eight, is greater than six x minus four x is two x plus 10. All right, so then here's my x, so I need to move this 10 over, probably by subtracting it. And let's see, eight minus 10 is a negative two, is greater than two x. So to get the x by itself, I need to divide by two. Now, a couple things here I need to point out is first, this is being divided by a positive, not a negative. So our sign is not going to switch. It's gonna stay, um, it's gonna stay greater than right here. Okay, but it is a negative divided by a positive, so that's gonna be a negative one. And then the second thing is, this is not written probably how you wanna see it. You wanna write this so the variable is first. So if I wanna do that, I'll come over here and say x and then my negative one. Here it's pointed at the x. So if you wanna write your x first, just keep it pointed whichever way it is. If it's open to the x or pointed at the x, here it's pointed to the x, so I'm gonna keep mine pointed like this. All right, so I got my solution. Now I need to graph this and write its interval notation. The graph of this thing, of this inequality, I should say, we're gonna have a negative one and a zero. I like to use zero and whatever number I'm working with, in this case, negative one. It's less than, so an open dot at negative one, shaded to the uh, left, shaded to the left. Lefts and rights are hard. Okay, and then down here, we're gonna go negative infinity, to negative one. Remember this is a snapshot of our shading. This is the interval notation. Infinities, positive or negative, always get parentheses. And then, um, since this is an open dot, this is also gonna get parentheses. If this negative one had a closed dot there, that would get a bracket, but this does not have that. All right, so our three parts to our answer, kind of crammed over in the corner there, but we have our solution, our graph, and our interval notation. Number two. Number two says 3n minus four is less than or equal to 6n plus 11. All right, so same idea. We have n's on both sides. That's our variable. Probably want to move our smaller one over. That way we can have a positive. So in this case, oops, I almost did an x. How about an n? Subtract 3n on both sides. Those cancel. Negative four is less than or equal to 3n plus 11. Subtract 11 on both sides. Let's see, negative four minus 11 is negative 15 is less than or equal to 3n, divide by three, and we get n over here. We have a less than or equal to sign, and then negative five. So same idea, the n is written second, we wanna write it first, so we can bring that out to the front, put the negative five over here. It's pointed this time at the negative five, so that's gonna stay pointed at the negative five like that for our solution. The graph of this, again, wanna use zero in the number we're working with, so I'm working with a negative five and then zero will be on the right of that. It's, a less, it's greater than or equal to, I should say. So this is gonna be a closed dot at the negative five. And since it's greater than, we want all the numbers that are greater. You can use zero as your test point. Zero is greater than negative five, shade towards a zero. Last part of this, the interval notation, starting at negative five and the shading ends. It never really ends, it goes to infinity. So we can go from negative five to infinity. Infinities get parentheses, closed dots with the negative five get brackets. All right, these next two that we're gonna do have parentheses, all right? And so we'll probably have to distribute into these inequalities. Let's check out this first one. It says 30 is greater than negative times the quantity 5x plus 15 plus 10x. So this negative is like a negative one I'm gonna to have to distribute. So when I do that, I now have 30 is greater than negative 5x minus 15, then bring down my plus 10x at the end. All right, after I distribute, I can combine like terms probably, and I can, and this one, negative five plus 10 is gonna be a positive five. So if 30 is greater than positive five x, minus 15. Add the 15 to the other side, we're trying to get our x term isolated. And 30 plus 15 over here is 45, is greater than five x. So when I divide by five, let's see, 45 divided by, by five is nine. So we have nine is greater than x. Again, this isn't quite written how I want it. I want the x first. So we're gonna flip those around, the x and then the nine. It's pointed at the x, keep it pointed at the x when you write it first. 
Okay, that's the interval, or that's the that's the symbols of it. So let's do the graph and the interval notation now. So the graph of this one, oops, is going to be zero and nine, and I have an open dot at nine. And remember, if it's pointed the way, uh, or if the x is written first and it's pointed a certain way, it's going to be shaded that way. That's a little cheat code there for you. Okay, and then the interval notation is a snapshot of the shading. So we're starting here at negative infinity on our left arrow, going all the way to nine. Uh, infinities get parentheses, open dots also get parentheses. And so our three parts for this one, we have our solution, our graph, and our interval notation. Number four, the last one we're doing says six y minus four is less than or equal to two times the quantity three y plus six. Again, we're gonna have to distribute first here. When I distribute the two in, this side stays the same. Six y minus four is less than or equal to, and now six y, uh, let's see, six y plus 12, all right? And let's see, what can I do? Well, both of them are the same, so when I move it over, it doesn't matter if I move my smaller or my bigger one, because they're the same, right? But they're both gonna cancel, and then you gotta be really careful on this one, because negative four is less than or equal to 12. All right, notice there's no y left to solve for here. So we have one of two choices. Either this is gonna be true or it's gonna be false. In this case, is negative four less than or equal to 12? Yeah, it is, all right? So this is a true statement. And if it's true, it does not matter what I plug in for y in the beginning here. Any y would work, whether it's negative one, negative a million, positive a million, doesn't matter. That would satisfy this because there would eventually cancel when you plug those in meaning that I'm left with this, so it's gonna be true. So for this, we can say all real numbers. All real numbers. And then real quick, if you would have got something that was uh, false, maybe it was flipped around, maybe 12 is less than or equal to negative four. That would be a false statement. Then of course, there's just gonna be no solution.